and good morning people. Welcome back to Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 2. Sisters generation. Almost said dimension again. Last time we did a little bit of a quest with Uni, who turns out to be the CPU candidate for Alas Station. We already knew this, but it was our first time actually f sort of knowing about it in the actual game, so I did keep quiet until it happened. But afterwards, she wasn't exactly happy that Nepgear was around. After all, she knows that Nepgear went with the CPUs three years ago. And, well, here's Nepgear. Noir isn't around. So... I think there's a little bit of understanding, and at least on my part, why she's a little bit... disappointed. And also the fact that she couldn't help three years ago. Now that we're back now, uh, that's done though, we do need to go back to last station. But because there's been a bit of time between this part and the last part, uh, Stella has returned. And she has successfully returned. So she has completed the virtual forest steps. One thing I have decided is that if I'm going if I complete a dungeon for the first time, I will show it for these now. However, if I'm just going back and retreading uh, steps for um, treasures and items, I'm not going to show that because this we know what Stella's dungeon is now. We don't need to show it. The reward, however, yes, we do want to see that. Moon Armor 8, yes please. Hit points plus 10. That's not too bad. And Battle Random Vitality Boost. We only need the one of those. Uh, washing pole? I've got a washing pole, haven't I? Yeah, I'm not too sure what the level is though. Neptral Tower. That must be our reward, but what that is? Good question, actually. Yeah, I've got a level 2 washing pole. We don't need that, so let's discard it. Um, Moon Armor level 8. Yeah, I still think that's better than the Summer Stella. Oh, that wasn't meant to happen. Oh well, um, I Press the wrong button. Anyway, I guess she's going to back through the. Uh, Where are we going? Virtual forest steps. I believe we need more items from there anyway. So, yep, go ahead, Stella. Sorry about that. Anyways, um, since that's done and I said what I'm going to do, since we don't need to do that again, let's check out that plan. Neptral Tower. Plan that unlocks Neptral, Neptral Tower in Stella's dungeon. Oh! Exclusive dungeons in the... in the actual... dungeon. Sure. And there is a chirper, so let's check that out. Oh, it's Mario! Set number two. Yeah, let's go. No, we're not. We've 
found uni, which is was one of our goals, but the mascot isn't exactly showing itself. Have we tried the Basilicon? Yeah, apparently there's an oracle in every nation. The oracle of the nation of Planetoon is Histoire. Wonder what this one's like. Doesn't have the best reputation. Well, we're out of other ends. Let's go at mm, least find out what see. this one gives us. Pardon us. Hello. Welcome to Last Station's Basilicom. I am Kei Jinguji, the Oracle for this nation. And I already know that you have questions for me. Isn't that right, IF and Kampa of Planetune? Huh? How do you know us? Intelligence gathering is Business Economics 101. I've gathered info on you both since your arrival. Definitely earned that reputation. Probably IF sees this one as a sort of rival in information gathering. After all, that's IF's special specialty. Um, we're looking for your nation's mascot. Do you have any information on where it might be? Whether I do or don't is irrelevant. I'd first like to ask you how much my information would be worth to you. Um, we've got a few credits, not much, but uh, maybe we could buy it? It's worth. Of course. Properly exchanging information through an agreed-upon value system is key to any business. But we don't have a lot of credits. Um, how do you know that, Compa? This could be New Game Plus. It isn't, but uh... <laughs> That's fine. Money is not required. Rather, I'd exchange the information for a personal favor. Okay, what would that be? What kind of personal favor? Our nation is currently developing a very special item. All we lack are some crucial materials. Seems simple enough. Wait, isn't this similar to what happened in the first game? Uh, we got some uh, some materials for the sword. Uh, Perhaps you've heard of these? We need a treasure gem and a good chunk of hematite. What? You realize how rare those are, don't you? How rare are we talking? So rare that you won't find them at any regular vendor. There's no info about where to find them either. This is an incredibly one-sided trade. How unfortunate. Then I suppose our negotiation is at its end. Perhaps I misappraised my intel's value to you. Slimy business weasel. Understood. We'll go find them. If we do that, you'll tell us what you know about your mascot, right? Well, one more thing. I also need to know what happened three years ago, and about the recent rescue attempt. You even know about our going back to the game industry graveyard? Circumstantial evidence. Call it a hunch. But how could I be wrong with Nepgear standing before me now? You knew about Gear all this time? Well, is Noir alright? Why is only Nepgear back? Well, Noir is still with the other CPUs and... Clamp that mouth shut, Gear. Business is all about equivalent exchange, isn't that right? Isn't it hypocritical of you to overstep the very rules of business you imposed on us? Huh. A valid point. My apologies. Very well, then I would like to ask you to find those materials first. After that, we can exchange all the information we possess. That is quite a bargain, you know. Okay, let's do that then. We'll be going now. 
AF got a little bit of a comeback there. Good on you, AF. My, my. How amateurish of me to allow my emotions to lead a business negotiation. Please be safe, Noir. So that's Kai. Someone we've never seen before. But definitely has an important position here in that station. Similar to what Histoire does now in Planetoon. You did IF. Well done. Yeah, if you're there as rare as you're saying, where are they? There's a rumour some monsters collect them. Okay. That may help. It's likely a very specific monster though. some really nasty things to Nepgear, didn't I? She's been through so much, too. I get it. I was told to stay behind because I wasn't strong enough to be of help to the others. If I had gone, I would have made their jobs even harder, rather than easier. But... But that's why I'm trying so hard to become way stronger. What will I do if I run into Nepgear again? And the Endless Zone. Um, quick note there. Um, you know we had Neptune and Noir have a certain dynamic in the first game, sort of at odds with each other, but also when push comes to shove they're so very similar. Nepgear and Uni at least from that exchange, seem to have a very similar sort of outlook to their, their potential relationship later. So, just speculation on my part, because I don't know for certain, but interesting little thing there. The end of the song, we do have a plan here to, uh, uh, where is it, to change the dungeon, apparently. It's not to actually add the dungeon here, it's to change it. Same as the Rebeat Resort and the Iris Field for later, so I'm not entirely thought, sure how it changes. But we don't need to worry about it right now. Let's head over to Planetune though. D-Bag's got some information for us, or some comments. Add enemies to the Endless Zone? Sure. Why are you giving it to us in Planetune? It's near the Lassation area. Okay. Lint Amaya? Am Amamia? That's it. World is like this now, but don't despair, the CPUs will be back. That's our goal. Let's just hold down the proverbial fort. And the Vestige of Darkness is making an appearance again. Change items, change items. What does the cassette 2 do? Uh, one yellow, two blue. Okay, that's something I can deal with. Endless Zone should give us a quest though. Yep, Game Industry Invasion. A steel bracelet. Is that the only one? Uh, just the one quest, okay. 
and shop should be updated. Yes. Expired liquid for Compa. Yes, we are going to buy one. And a Venom Claw for IF. We're, yes, we are going to buy one. Not great improvements, but I will take any little bits of damage here. Also, armor has upgraded, so we are going to buy a steel armlet and two steel bracelets. Yes, I'm going to get one as a reward later, but I'd rather get them now and use them. And I think that's it. So let's actually equip those items. Um, expired liquid, steel bracelet, venom claw. Why do you have the rubber band equipped? You should have the leather bracelet equipped. Okay, I've been slacking on your defense. Right. Um, now that that's done, we haven't actually received any new commands yet, have we? We still got just the base stuff. Yeah, just steal the base commands. And I don't think we've actually learned any new SP skills yet either. Oh, except Compa has learnt Compa's antidote. That will that happened at some point. But that's just curing poison. Huh. A little bit weird. Anyway, let's head over to the endless zone. Bits, delinquent cats, bomb bomb ombuies and Fenris Sulfurs. So our Fenris Sulfurs are appearing in multiple areas. Okay, let's do our normal. Let's scour the edges for the items which I don't believe there's anything too special here I did say at the start there was an item that I w might want um, I don't actually know if it is something I really want though at least not to use but I will to show What's this? Uh, detoxin it's not what I expected uh, events that way so we don't want to go that yeah, the menu of voices. Add a voice fit feature where a party member will make a cute little comment when you open the menu, main menu. Since this is a character focus game, figures this will add to your, its enjoyment. Doesn't affect the gameplay. Considering I'm talking if and I'm using the menu to talk to stop um, the character chatter over the just the idle bits. Yeah, I sort of need the menu at the moment. Hmm? What's this? Strength booster and intellect booster, not too bad. But that's all the items. I believe there are a few more over there, but we won't be getting them straight up. I may come back in to get them after this though. Anyways, what did we actually need to get for this, this quest of ours? Some small conductors and bomb fuses. Okay. Success! It's my turn! So what do we have here? We've got the bits. Back to just the three characters, Nepgear, Compa, IF. Uh, that's fine. These shouldn't be too hard. Hey, I've got you. They definitely uh, enemies are definitely getting a bit of a boost in their uh, 
uh, defenses, at the very least, with all hit points. But still not enough. Uh, delinquent cats, weren't you in the um, Rebeat Resort? Okay, so I don't need to worry about you. Right. Out of my way! I need to calm myself. Please prepare yourself. There, I can't Sorry. wait. Hey, hey! Oh. Leave it to me. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. We win again! Yeah, Gang Moss. I remember those. Level 10? Yes, I do want those levels. And... Ah, the bombs. It's my turn. Considering there's only real, really two new enemies, it's not a surprise that we've only got one quest. This seems like a sort of rehashed dungeon out of my way i got you i need to calm myself for enemies at least like this. please prepare yourself so we'll probably see the bombs and the uh, we somehow won. bits in another place as well still not fighting you you're still a dangerous enemy i don't think i can take you on still I do believe that's pretty much it though Prepare yourself. for enemies so really now it's just me getting the right angle for this if I can I think that's the closest I'm going to get. Oh well. Um, and find it, getting the items for my quest, and then meeting you at the uh, event. Okay, quickly meeting you back in the uh, Rebeat Resort because I do want the items from the back here, which we couldn't get to before. Dangerous Monster, we're going to hold off on that. I do want the items from there, but um, uh, I probably want the items from him for plans, but hmm? yeah. What's this? The Frost Hat. That is, as you might expect, a processor part. Gives her a nice little uh, icy, icy flower in her hair. Reduces her strength a bit, puts up her intelligence, her mentality, her technique, and gives her a bit of uh, frost resistance. At the moment, I'm not needing frost resistance, so that's fine. Um, but it might come in handy later down the line. Flame resistance, yeah, I would like that right now. Anyways, I'm, I came here to do that and I needed a couple of fish skeletons anyway. So let's head out and at least um, show what I've got quickly. Yeah, I turned on the uh, item shift because you can actually get the items I needed from that way, just without fighting. I have to have have got the quest ready to pick up um, plans. We've got many voices. I'll turn them on for the moment and, and at least show you. Uh, I need to do. I need to do that, but I'll probably turn it off because I don't really need to worry about her getting back in double the time. 
I have done the item change already for uh, the Endless Zone because I was looking for additional bomb fuses. Uh, so yeah, we just I just needed a couple of bomb fuses for that. Strangely enough, the Endless um, Endless Zone has, needs fish skeletons, which you get at in the Rebeat Resort. The large pincer, I think, is from the Dangerous Monster in the Rebeat Resort as well, so go figure. And it's actually f fairly... Okay, I thought it was the same as Rebeat Resort there. Okay, never mind. So yeah, um, where the Earth Ripper is, I have no idea. Uh, there was one other plan, I think. Was there? Oh yeah, there's the fortify enemies that we can do now. Basically, it just ups the level of the enemies and makes them stronger. I think it gives you more experience points. But that's also all the space I've got available. I don't have that one... MP, MB for Felis Express anyway, so yeah. So I'm all out of memory. I do need to go and get that last bit of experience for We've level 12. Each other courage. Yeah, so. Leave it all to me. As you can see. Now then, let's get going. You open the menu, they start talking. At least they do one, uh, do something on here. Um, if you're low health, they will comment about it. But not anything I need to worry about. If they don't actually say anything after that first one, I'm actually okay with it. They're not coming out at all at the moment, so yeah, we'll be okay with it. Nepgear has learned a skill, um, but I cannot find it. And I think I know why, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Anyway, let's go back into the Endless Zone, let's go to that event. I'm going to quickly pick up these items because... Model 4 bases, I think we need a lot of them later for various plans, since they're base things, and small conductors, sure. And I didn't check Stella out because she has returned, but oh well. Anyways, I'll do that after this. Event time. Nothing at all. Come on, if they were this easy to find, that oracle would have them already. I guess running around without direction will get us nowhere fast. Why all the glum faces? Um, hello to you as well. Huh? I'm sorry. Who are you? Oops. Where are my manners? I'm Falcom. I'm your average everyday adventurer, as you can see. Falcom. That's a name... Well, that's a name that actually rings bells. And also, I have this nasty habit of wanting to meddle in the affairs of troubled folks like you. Wow, an adventurer! Iffy, maybe she knows something. Can't hurt to ask, right? Mm, I guess not. We're fresh out of alternatives. Um, so... We're looking for two gems, hematite and a treasure gem, but we have no idea where to look. Treasure gem and hematite, huh? Never heard of hematite, but I know the treasure gem isn't around here. I think I heard more about the one at Planet Tomb. Was it Virtua Forest? A gem collecting monster, maybe? Are you serious? I'd take you there if I could, but... I'm already in the middle of some other errands. Sorry about that. Oh no! That information is plenty! Thank you so much! Cool. Your eyes are full of life again, so my work here is done. Perhaps we'll meet again. Good luck! Thanks, Bunches! How unexpected. I, I never would have thought it would be in Planetune. 
let's hurry over and find out if she was right. Hooray! So... Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. Going back to Planetoon, are they? <laughs> Hello, Linda. Just you wait. Our super-secret anti-CPU weapon will blast you all to dust. Well, it's not super secret now, you just blabbed about it to me. Oh, right, yeah, I don't matter. The uh, characters don't know yet. So, this world is so vast. Back to the virtual forest depths, because, yeah, we don't need to do you know, anything else right now. We need that uh, treasure gem. Why? Yeah, apparently it's back there. Anyways, uh, I didn't report this quest, so let's go and do that for the steel bracelet. And there should be nothing more because I haven't opened up anything else. There is a chirper though, player two. To give us the discard. Excellent. Um, I'm still a newcomer, but I'll do my best. Other than that, I think we're done for the moment. Next time, we will head back to Planetoon to the Virtual Forest Depths, and we'll go and pick up that tre uh, treasure gem. Where the hematite is, though, we'll have to wait till after. And I do want level 12. So next time back there. Until then, have a wonderful day, have lots of fun. Goodbye.